Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay ELISA. Outline Introduction, principle, types, laboratory procedure, results and analysis Introduction the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay ELISA has become one of the most widely used serological tests for antibody or antigen detection. This assay involves the use of an immunosorbent specific to either the antigen or antibody. Following the antigen-antibody reaction, chromogenic substrate specific to the enzyme is added. The reaction is detected by reading the optical density. Usually, a standard curve based on known concentrations of antigen or antibody is prepared from which the unknown quantities are calculated. ELISA has been used as diagnostic tool in medicine, biotechnology, and also quality control check in various clinical and medical industries. Principle Enzyme immunoassay, which has many variations, depends on the conjugation of an enzyme to an antibody. The enzyme is detected by assaying for enzyme activity with its substrate. To measure antibody, known antigens are fixed on a solid phase like plastic microtiter plate, incubated with test antibody dilutions, washed, and re-incubated with an anti-immunoglobulin labeled with an enzyme. Enzyme activity, measured by adding the specific substrate and estimating the color reaction, is a direct function of the concentration of antibody bound. This serologic test is used to detect antibodies to a number of infectious diseases such as antibodies to HIV proteins in blood samples or antibodies to the syphilis organism, Treponema pallidum and in this case, could be used for detection of coronavirus antibodies. This assay system is also widely used to detect autoantibodies, present in the circulation of patients with systemic and organ-specific autoimmune diseases, e.g., antibodies in systemic lupus erythematosus, scleroderma, among others. Types. Different types of ELISA tests available for the detection and quantitation of either the antigen or antibodies in serum and other body fluids. These include, 1. Direct ELISA, 2, indirect ELISA, 3, sandwich ELISA, and 4, competitive ELISA. Direct ELISA. This type has to do with attachment of an antigen to a polystyrene plate, followed by an enzyme labeled antibody that can react with the antigen and a substrate that can be measured. Indirect ELISA. The indirect ELISA is used for the quantitative estimation of antibodies in the serum and other body fluids. In this method, specimens are added to microtiter plate wells coated with antigen to which specific antibodies are to be detected. After a period of incubation, the wells are washed. If antibody was present in the sample, antigen-antibody complex would have been formed and will not get washed away. On the other hand, if the specific antibody was not present in the specimen, there would not be any complex formation. Next, an anti-isotype antibody conjugated with an enzyme is added and incubated. After another washing step, a substrate for the enzyme is added. If there was complex formation in the initial step, the secondary anti-isotype antibody would have bound to the primary antibody and there would be a chromogenic reaction between the enzyme and substrate. By measuring the optical density values of the wells, after a stop solution has been added to arrest the chromogenic reaction, one can determine the amount of antigen-antibody complex formed in the first step. Sandwich ELISA The sandwich ELISA is used for the detection of antigen. In this test, the known antibody is coated and immobilized onto the wells of microtiter plates. The test sample containing the suspected antigen is added to the wells and is allowed to react with the antibodies in the wells. 
After the step of washing the well, a second enzyme conjugated antibody specific for a different epitope of the antigen is added and allowed to incubate. After removing any free secondary antibody by rewashing, the specific substrate is added, and the ensuing chromogenic reaction is measured. The chromogenic reaction is then compared with a standard curve to determine the exact amount of the antigen present in the test sample. In a positive test, an enzyme acts on the substrate to produce a color, and its intensity can be measured by spectrophotometer or ELISA reader. The change of color can also be observed by the naked eye. Competitive ELISA Competitive ELISA is another technique used for the estimation of antibodies present in a specimen, such as serum. Principle of the test is that two specific antibodies, one conjugated with enzyme and the other present in test serum, if serum is positive for antibodies, are used. Competition occurs between the two antibodies for the same antigen. Appearance of color indicates a negative test, absence of antibodies, while the absence of color indicates a positive test, presence of antibodies. In this test, the microtiter wells are coated with antigen. The SARA to be tested are added to these wells and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius and then washed. If antibodies are present in the test serum, antigen-antibody reaction occurs. The antigen-antibody reaction is detected by adding enzyme labeled specific antibodies. In a positive test, no antigen is left for these antibodies to act. Hence, the antibodies remain free and are washed away during the process of washing. When substrate is added, no enzyme is available to act on it. Therefore, positive result indicates no color reaction. In a negative test, in which no antibodies are present in the serum, antigen in the coated wells is available to combine with enzyme-conjugated antibodies and the enzyme acts on the substrate to produce color. Laboratory procedure materials Microtiter plate Phosphate buffer saline Antibody and antigen samples. Color changing substrate solution. 37 degree Celsius incubator. Adjustable micro pipette and tips. Transfer pipettes. Procedure. Step 1 Label the micro titer plates and transfer pipettes. Step 2, add 100 microliter of the antigen solution to all of the wells. Step 3, incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature. This is when the antigens will nonspecifically reappear to the plastic for electrophonic and electrostatic interaction. Step 4, remove all the liquids from the wells using a transfer pipette. Step 5, wash the wells by adding about 8 drops of PBS buffer then remove PBS from the wells. Be careful not to spill to the nearby wells. By this process, the wells are blocked with a protein containing buffer to prevent nonspecific interaction between the antibody and the plastic wells. Step 6 Add reagents, that is, antibody sample, using new pipette tip for each reagents. Step 7 Incubate the plate for 15 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Step 8 Remove the liquid from the wells using the appropriate transfer pipette. Step 9, wash each well with PBS and then remove the liquid with its appropriate pipette. Step 10, add 100 microliters of the secondary antibody to each of the wells. Step 11, incubate for 15 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius and prepare a detection substrate. Step 12, remove the secondary antibody solution and wash well with PBS buffer. Again, wash each well with PBS substrate and remove the liquid using transfer pipette and again add 100 microliters of solution to each of the wells and incubate. Results and analysis. When you examine your results, differences between positive and negative samples would be obvious. Most positive samples would be turning brown in color. If color is not fully developed in about 5 minutes, incubate again at the same temperature. The result is also gotten when the absorption at 450 nanometers by a plate reader is measured. Results can be collected by measuring the absorbance, where a high absorbance is indicative of a high concentration, and vice versa.
The standard curve is used to determine the concentration of the samples. A negative control is also run. This contains no standard 0 pg per milliliter. To accurately determine the true absorbance of any well, the background must be subtracted. This will give the corrected absorbance values. The ODE value of the standard X axis can be plotted against the known concentration of the standard Y axis as an XY scatter plot. Music